We're, We're doing, doing the, the Shipbox shit Rally. Rally. Welcome to video two of our attempt to get you to part with money uh, for the cab to cancel. Yeah. We just had a discussion about me saying uh, that I don't think we need to do the whole we're doing the shitbox rally because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video you already know that, but... However, I like it. Fine. <laughs> just, right. just guess what just So, wants. yeah, we do... It, I do in this, this manner. So, once again, we're trying to, you know, just keep you up to date with things. So, as it is, we haven't got a car yet. Uh, we will be doing the hunt for the car soon, but... We just thought we'd give you some more information about us and our experience on the road. Yeah, because like when you go for a job and people want to give you money, they want to know what your experience is before yes. they give you money. So likewise, so, if you're going to give us your money, we want to you know what our, our road tripping experience is. Yes, we are not we are not uh, amateurs, nor are we professionals. We are road trip enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> we have googled road tripping. <laughs> <laughs> only only my brother is going to find that funny. A very niche, <laughs> niche, niche inside joke. Anyway, so we will start. Uh, so, first question is, how much of Australia have we driven? Basically every single major road in Australia. Almost, almost all of Australia, apart from some serious four-wheel drive tracks. So at the time, yeah. we didn't have the car for it. Otherwise, and And everywhere. this includes Tasmania as well. Yeah, Tasmania, Kangaroo Island. Yeah. Uh, not been to uh, Rottnest yet, where well, you can't drive them up with them, no. can you? Yeah. Or Magnetic, which again, I think you, you can. can. You can. can you? I, I don't know. You can get a car, but, but yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, every major area. We've yeah. done East Coast and West Coast as two separate trips. Yeah, all the way around and all the little interconnecting, pretty much all yeah. the little interconnecting roads. Yeah, when you live in Alice Springs for as long as we have, uh, you end up taking a lot of roads that you know get you somewhere a bit faster even if they're a bit dodgy all right so because we've done so much travel what is your favorite road trip snack so my favorite road trip snack is the road trip sandwich that uh, that joss makes um what makes a road trip sandwich different to a regular sandwich is that it needs to be able to be eaten whilst driving in the car uh, without making a big mess so, and still be super tasty yeah obviously be super tasty as well but um, yeah, so that means like fillings that can be sort of bitten off uh, without trailing bits coming out. So you couldn't have like a steak sandwich, a cut up steak sandwich as a road trip sandwich because you know, bits of steak will fall everywhere, it's too hard to chew through or whatever if you don't cut it up, you know. Where... The anatomy of a road trip sandwich. Maybe we should do a video on that at some point. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people are gonna care about that. <laughs> But the best, Give us all your money. The best one she ever made was uh, a, a lamb sausage one that was just oh, it had like <laughs> like special mustardy <laughs> mustardy sauce thing that she'd made as well, and spinach in there, and mushroom like fried mushrooms and stuff. And she made a couple for this. I can't even remember where we went. I remember the sandwich, but I can't even remember where we went. But the sandwich was so good. And she made me two, and I forgot about the second one. Uh, and I he left it in gutted. the car. Yeah, and obviously it gets so hot here in the car that overnight, like. You could, it was not edible the next day, so I had to throw that away. It was, uh, it was devastating. All right. What is the most ropey road trip we've done? We've done a few dodgy drives uh, in our time, but the actual road, what would you say is the ropiest road we've driven? Well, the ropiest road we've driven is the Tenemai. Yeah. Yeah. Because we'd driven it before and it was fine. And this is the thing with the Tenemai, it can change very yeah. quickly. And, and we've driven it like three weeks, weeks, yeah, two, two or three, three weeks, weeks before. And it was absolutely fine. And we're like, oh, I don't know what people are complaining about. This was cruisy. And then, yeah, we did it three weeks later and it was awful. Blew a tyre. Yeah, nearly um, blew a second one and we only had one spare. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Um, it was an impressively bad road. Yeah. But you mean dodgy as in... Well, no. No, just the, just yeah. the dodgy road? Okay, yeah, the yeah. time. I think Tanami is famously known for famously being pretty bad. dodgy. Um, yeah. Or it can be really good. Mm. Yeah. Just depends on your luck, which way the wind's blowing. Oh, pretty right. soon they're gonna they're gonna bitumize it, and then people yeah. won't get to do it. So you should, if you're ever thinking about doing it, you should do it because you know, in our lifetimes yep. they're gonna bitumize it. And what is your favourite road to drive? Would you say my favourite road to drive? It's like a road trip drive. I know which one mine is. Mine is Alice Springs to Darwin. 
the Stuart Highway between Alice Springs to Darwin because it the scenery just changes so much as you're driving. Yeah, you see it becoming and more territory tropical. speed limits. Yeah, territory speed so. limits. Good. For a little while, they had de-restricted speed limits so you could, between uh, thing. Like there was like 470 kilometer stretch with like no speed limit. Um, it was pretty incredible. Yeah, um, that's my favorite road trip. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'd probably I'd be, I'd be inclined to uh, to agree. In terms of like an actual long distance kind of trip, yeah. there are some nicer uh, nice roads to drive just generally oh, around. Oh, the one in Victoria, what's it called? Oh, the the Great um, Mountain Road was Great, it? Alpine. Great, Great Alpine, Alpine road, road, which we think is better than the Great Ocean Road. Everybody talks about the Great Ocean Road, and the Great Ocean Road is fine. There's a lot of cyclists. It's quite annoying, but uh, the Great Alpine Road is just it's a great road. Lovely. Great road. Yeah. Pity about the Victorians, but. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> they do like to drive very close behind you. Yeah. And what is the longest road trip we've done? Uh, because west... all, all our long road trips, I should point out, we've done together. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the West Coast trip around Australia was the longest we did because we started in Alice, drove up through the Territory and then across Cac- all... We did Kakadu. Yeah. Uh, all the way Darwin. around the coast of Australia with the occasional of West Australia with the occasional little trip in as well to places yeah. like uh, Karajini and yeah and, and things Hutt like River that. Province Hutt River Province yeah. and, and and then all the way down around the south, bottom of the south coast and then sort of back up in a little bit so then come down then to come Esperance down, and then again, across the Nullarbor and across the Nullarbor back into back South Australia it was 15,000 kilometers I think slightly in over total. in total yeah yeah it was a, a long old way. We did that in 12 weeks. Yeah. So, you know, over a thousand kilometers a week. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of money on petrol. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah. So, there are our road trip questions. Cool. And uh, the next video will be um, about our cars. cars. What our car yeah. experience uh, has been like, yeah. um, particularly in Australia. Because we have done, so aside from that, we have done, um, we've done the Udnatada track before yep. and this great central road that we'll be driving for the Shitbox Rally, we have done a lot. Yep. I, in fact, I'm going out in two and a half weeks to do that drive again. <laughs> but we normally do them in very capable, almost new four wheel, uh, like Land Cruiser like, 200 Land Cruisers seasons. and Hiluxes yeah. and things With, like that. Um, all the uh, GVM upgrades, lots of spares you've yep. got. Yeah. But if you go out there, like the indigenous people are always just driving around in two wheel driving cars. Yeah. So it like it, it can be done. Like it's, yeah. it's definitely can be done. It's not safe, but you know, not many fun things are. <laughs> so, but yeah, other trip, other <laughs> that's our tagline, is it? Not many fun things are safe. You can't be, you can't be safe all the time and have fun. Um, but we've done East Coast as well. Yes. That was a long trip reasonably long trip and uh, we've done all the way around Europe as well we did like a 9,000 kilometer trip 12 different countries around Europe yeah as well so we've done we've done lots yeah. of travel and lots of dirt highways as well in Australia yeah. So. so yeah um, but again money please donate oh yeah <laughs> let me 20 bucks can you let me 20 bucks go to the go to the page it's linked it'll yeah. be linked somewhere below click on it yeah donate some money be much obliged. Thanks. Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks? Let me 20 bucks. Can you let me 20 bucks?